afternoon, St. Louis, and a welcome to Studio STL presented by Golden Oak Lending. I'm your host, Chelsea Haynes, and happy International Women's Day. We are celebrating in the best way possible with one woman who deserves her flowers. I put on these this floral dress I love just it. for just for the day, right? Oh, thank you. I love it. It's gorgeous well, thank on you. you. Well, absolutely. Thank you. I will take a compliment. I appreciate that. But you really do deserve your flowers. You're with the Center for Plant-Based Living. This is the SCL Veg Girl, Karen Dugan. She really does know her stuff. And Karen, you kind of have one of its kind right here in America. Tell us a little bit about what you do at the Center for Plant-Based Living. That's it. Yeah, so it's the nation's first and only plant-based nutrition and culinary education center. We do cooking classes, virtual cooking classes, and in-shop cooking classes. And we also have a virtual membership. It's, I call it a streaming membership because it's kind of set up like a Netflix account. And it's kind of cool. And you really are helping people kind of change their life with what you're doing, plant-based living. Well, I hope so. You are. You definitely are. Like I said, you deserve your flowers. So happy International Women's Thank Day. You. <laughs> you're Thank welcome. You. And today we are talking about cabbage, getting you ready for St. Patty's Day. Cabbage is not only beautiful, but it's it's high in vitamin C, it's good for your body. What are we talking about today? So a lot of people think that um, cabbage is a lettuce because it looks, looks like, like a lettuce. lettuce. <laughs> yes. But it's actually not. Well, it's part of the cruciferous family and it is so high in nutrients, nutrient packed, that if you're gonna start adding more plants to your plate, just little by little, I would say definitely start with a cruciferous vegetable, and in particular, cabbage is a great one too. Um, it's very high in fiber, so it may be a little rough on your tummy if you're just you starting. Yeah, but the great thing about cabbage is that it actually, the nutrient value goes up in some of these cabbages when you cook them, steam them, boil them. So that helps kind of break down the fibers a little bit so your body's not working quite so hard, but you're getting the nutrient packed punch that you really, really want. And that's what we need, right? That's exactly what we need. To make sure we're getting all of those yeah. nutrients. And their cabbage comes in different shapes, different sizes, different colors. What does each one of these mean for our bodies? So this is a, a bok choy, and I think a lot of people are probably used to eating a baby bok choy, mm -hmm. um, but it's, this is just the grown-up version. This is a red cabbage. Look how beautiful is this is pretty. here. We know this one, right? Oh, Brussels. Brussels. Baby, baby cabbages, just Brussels your regular. once a week. Good. That is exactly what I want to hear. That's exactly I what I want and to I hear. And I juice cabbage, actually. Oh, okay. And like you said, it was kind of rough when I first started incorporating into my juicing yeah. recipes. But now I can't tell, tell a difference. Well, that's actually now when you're juicing, you're, you know, you're getting rid of a lot of the fiber. So it's okay to do it because you're still getting a lot of the other uh, antioxidants and, and nutrient effects. But don't do it quite so often because I want you to get that fiber. We got to make sure we're getting that fiber. Yeah. Well, I love cooked cabbage as well. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. I like my cruciferous vegetables. You redeemed yourself. <laughs> I did. And then last but certainly not least, what about this? So one? this is a Napa cabbage, also called Chinese cabbage. So if you go and you know you get Asian food, let's say, and you've got a lot of there's a lot of um, cabbage in there, this is probably what you're eating. So super high. There's also um, a compound in. Uh, cruciferous vegetables and all these cabbages, once you cut it and then chew it, a property called, or kind of like a, a chemical reaction called sulforaphane is released. And that has been studied for over three decades to help really just uh, help shrink tumor growth and prevent a lot of cancer, specifically breast and lung cancer. So a lot of cancer fighting nutrients inside yeah. the cabbage as well. And you've also created some beautiful dishes oh. ahead of St. Patrick's Day. Walk us through these two items here. So this is just um, a red cabbage slaw with a little bit of carrots. It's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this one is, this is what we're doing for the St. Patty's Day class coming up. This is a roasted cabbage. Look how pretty that is with is all, the, it, all the spices in there. And then we've got some plant-based um, meats that we're also making in class. And then this is sauerkraut. I mean, you either Ooh. love it or you hate it, but it's a fermented product that is so good for that gut health, oh my gosh. And fermented foods just really help you absorb the vitamins and nutrients a little bit easier than not eating the fermented foods. Well, it's a win. Yeah, it's it is. It's a win-win, yeah. so yeah. go ahead. If yeah. you're interested in signing up for this class, Karen, where can people go to sign up for this class? You can go to stlvegirl.com or our other website for the shop is cpbl-stl.com.
Bada bing, bada boom. Well, get signed up for this class. It's coming up very soon ahead of St. Patrick's Day. And while you're online, you can also visit our website at studiostl.tv. We post all of our segments online after the show. We also post behind the scenes pictures on Facebook and on Instagram. So go ahead, take out those phones, show us some love, give us a follow on both Facebook and on Instagram. Our handle is at Inside Studio STL. And while y'all do that on your phones, we're going to get you up to date and caught up on our news headlines with news anchor Dan Gray. Hey, Dan. Hey,